And I'll tell you something else I'm not gonna do anymore. I'm not gonna go to Starbucks for coffee anymore. And I'll tell you why. Two reasons. Number one, I don't think I should have to learn another language just to order a cup of coffee. You know? What happened to small, medium, large? You know, there's a reason we didn't convert to the metric system, people. We don't get it. I went in the other day and somebody goes, I'm a barista. I go, shut up, you pour coffee. <laughs> and the other reason I don't want to go anymore is because my wife will not just order a coffee. Oh my God. It's like this chemistry lab experiment. We have one right by our house and every, every, when we go in there, we drink way too much coffee because we're in there every day. So we pull through the drive-thru and every time we pull through the drive-thru, I hesitate to look at Gail and go, okay, what do you want? <laughs> Let me see. No, I had that yesterday. It's coffee, for God's sakes. All right. I'm going to have a large mochiata with three shots of almond, three shots of dolce. I want no sugar, no fat, no foam, and I want an extra large cup. I'm not ordering that. Of course, do I, fellas? Yes. Because I'd like to see these again at some point. So I decided I was drinking too much coffee and that I was going to just go with a hot tea. So I gave Gail's order and I said, I'll just have a hot tea. So we pull around the drive through window and the girl hands me Gail's chemistry lab experiment. And she hands me my hot tea and I go to take a sip of my tea and I went, good God, lady, this is like a bazillion degrees. And the girl in the window goes, did you order hot or cold tea? And I went, hot. And she went, really? I'm getting busted by a coffee chick? So I have a daughter, and I know if you start arguing with girls, they just throw that wall up you don't get through. So I thought, I'll use some psychology on this girl. So I took out my wallet, took out a $100 bill, and I said, sweetheart, I will give you this $100 bill if you can drink one-third of that tea. And she took a sip of the tea, and she went, whew, that is hot. And I went. <laughs> so she takes my tea and pours it in a gigantic cup of ice. And I go, well, now it's too cold. And she goes, what are you, Goldilocks? <laughs> like, what are you making, minimum wage? Shut up. So she throws it in the trash, pours another hot tea, gets another cup of ice, and hands them to me and says, you do the math. <laughs> okay, at this point, I'm hotter than the tea. And thank God my wife was there, because she goes, let's just pull away, just pull away. So instead of being smart and pulling off to the side of the road to do my little mixture, I'm driving with one knee, I go to pour that hot tea on the ice, and we hit a speed bump, and scalding hot tea went Psh! Now I'm screaming bloody murder, swerving all over the road, my wife goes, what's wrong with you? I go, just poured scalding hot tea in my crotch. She takes a cup of ice and dumps it in my lap. I go, I go, what are you doing? She goes, I'm trying to cool it down. I go, well, you just melted all the ice. Now I got double the water around down the crack of my butt. But thanks for helping. <laughs>